guys welcome to the lecture in this lecture i will be showing test runner and exploring the project okay in the previous lecture i have installed the cypress and once the cypress is installation is success you can see the dev dependencies cypress version 4.5.0 when you are installing the version might vary maybe 4.6.0 may be 5. 1.0 or whatever and it creates the separate folder sorry it won't create separate folder it creates the node modules under node modules you will have cypress and you need to execute one command when you execute that command it creates the cypress folder under cypress folder you can examples and project structure everything the command is called node underscore modules class dot bin class cypress open when you execute this command project folder will be created under project folder you will have a cypress folder cypress folder you will have some js files don't worry about this file js files and go through it take some time and now it is opening the test runner i'm going to execute test case by using test runner taking time to patient guys after opening test runner i'll select the test when you click on test open the browser execute the test case see the screenshots left side test cases right side you will have the screenshots and output of your Open the Cypress now. Test runner, this is called Cypress Test Runner. You can select any of the script from here. Like I said, under examples, it is automatically detected. I will be creating one basic test, test spec, and it will be detected that basic test spec. You can execute that basic test spec. Just select on the action spec. This is a test. I have this specification this spec I am opening I'm executing well it got changed so listen for here there one different symbol for this different symbol so open the browser now Chrome browser my default browser is Chrome so Chrome browser is open it's going to start your test script execution it will show you how many test cases are failed so fast and you can even restart all test case. Point time, bit, bit time, and I'm running first time. Take some. This browser is being controlled by our automation tool. It's called Cypress. All the scripts are executing. See the output. Right side, left side we will see the all these test specifications or test methods. Type being executed goes to the focus next to blur effect all the functionalities are getting executed so quickly guys opening loading and selecting the page and going to the examples.cypress.action click to clicking see count is getting increased here Eight scripts are passed, nine scripts are passed. Time it took selecting all the drop down boxes, see opening, executing very quick. Everything is completed. Total 14 are there. 14 scripts are completed. Once the execution is completed, if you want to restart, you can restart all the tests. Just you need to click on this. All the uh, scripts are present here. These scripts are created by Cypress. This command. I can see the logs also. Each and every command log. Folder is created by this command. Node underscore modules slash dot bin slash Cypress open. 
when you execute this command it's created a cypress folder the cypress folder have some basic structure and we have an examples under examples folder we have all these effects a certain effect is there i'll go through you don't worry about this tax first time it will be a bit difficult to understand i will go through you i will clearly explain all this thank you guys